have this, but it could be worse. Yes. Yes. And I thank God that I'm healthy. Yes. Because I could God. be paralyzed. I could be, you know, still, I could be alive, but then you're living in a, in a, you know, in a limited manner where you can't do things freely. So that's still very, you know, very hard to deal with. I thank God for Prophet Benjamin. Amen. Yes. Yes. I've known him for many years, and we've always, um, you know, especially when it comes to going out, we've always gone together. And um, I know one thing he can, you know, say is that I'm not a person that is a money person. That's right. You know, um, he would never, you know, whatever he can give me, I just accept it. Wow. I've never complained or you know anything like that. And I know that because I know that God's gonna bless me. Yeah. Right. So I still, you know, I say I'm doing it for God. Yeah. And I saw even a post that my brother put up recently about how musicians are putting all their focus into yeah. church to get their income. Yeah. Mm. And I just seen anyone else comment. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put it up. Uh, yeah. I said, oh. <laughs> I said, okay. I guess everyone wants to make money off the church. That's oh, that's Lord. what you want to do is go around and say I need this amount or I'm not playing. Uh -huh. yeah. My Lord. You don't get a job. Yeah. Right. And that was something. There's no reason for you to try to rip off the church. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then when ties of the money offering is low, then it's a problem. They've taken very long to count the offering and they're wondering, is this debate, can we do this? You know, that's just, right. it's just too much. Right. I'm not saying, you know, for someone to rip you off and just say, okay, I'm going to just use you, but right. be fair. Right. Right. And that's what I believe in. Mm -hmm. yes. I thank God for my second chance family. Yes. Thank God for my my favorite deacon, Deacon Will Frank. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's my boy. I always hit him up, and um, he always, you know, always. I know he can always say like I'm hitting him up and I'm trying to encourage him, and I'm always telling him you know I'm there for him, and I appreciate everything you do. Because you stand out as a deacon. Yes. Amen. A lot of people don't do what you do. You know, he'll make sure he'll escort the speaker or whoever to their vehicle. Sure. Uh -huh. He's and even his presence back there mm -hmm. is, is something that will deter people, exactly. crazy people, to come off the street. Yes. Right. We had an incident yes. last week. Yes. Crazy man got all the way all the way up here, passes up here, mm. all the way up here. If he was here, that would have never happened. Yeah. I mean, he's, this guy wanted the mic. Yeah. I'm like, what you want to say? And then he's. He's, 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 he's like, a, it was a process. Like 15, 20 minutes he's here. I said, if my deacon was here, that would not have happened. Because mm -hmm. he would have stopped that already. You no, know, you know. So it makes you appreciate what you have. That's true. Thank God for Sister Joella. Yes. Yeah. Because um, anything I ask her to do, she does it. Yeah. Never complains. Yeah. Even when it comes on to doing the camera, and anybody knows how I am with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't nobody gonna go and do what I do. I, I'm gonna go right in your face. So. <laughs> I complain, and I get, I give it to even my wife. I'm like, I, I need the best pictures. I need the best pictures. I, I'm, I'm just crazy when it comes to pictures because I feel like it's a great, <laughs> it's like a great way to look at it like a token yeah. afterward. You can say it's you like a great memory. memory. Right. Yeah, oh, I thank God. For Minister Bethia in her absence. Um, she's like my assistant. Anything I ask her to do, she does it and um, never complains as well. And I appreciate that. Amen. Um, thank God for Elder John Thompson. Yeah. I love this ministry. Yeah. And it complements and supplements Second Chance because yes. we're not traditional. Right. And it doesn't throw him off if I go somewhere else. He's able just to groove with it. But we still yes. keep it, you know, we still keep it on the umbrella, but we're still able to say, okay, we can go in and out of the box. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not many people can do that with me. Yeah. A lot of people won't flow like how I want to when I say, if I hear something right in there, I'll go right with it. And or they'll be like, okay, stop. Because they already have it in their mind what they're doing is set. But I love that you're not like that. Yeah, and I love that you have never harassed me for money. And there have been times when I have even been short and given you something that you never complained or talked about me, or at least wow. I've heard. <laughs> but I appreciate that. 
But there are many people now who can't be short. Yeah. You know, they're going to talk about you and say, I'm not doing this anymore. No so I appreciate that. And you come, you have a commute. It's a long commute for you. And it's a Sunday, and I know with um, the trains, they run crazy. Yeah. So I appreciate you coming. Amen. Thank God for my brother Rashad. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Excellent. I love that you are able to play with me and you're not doing too much because I, I, I don't like when somebody does too much. I'm just, just tell me I am. And I like that you know that I'm in charge and I like that too. I'm a child. I, I, I just hate when I play people and they just be trying to take over. I'm like, no, no, you follow me. So um, I, follow, I follow who's up preaching or singing and you follow me and I appreciate that. You are, every time I ask you, if you're available, you accept that you don't come at me with money. Right. You don't say, well, how much is the pay? Like I've been told before. Hmm. And um, <laughs> like you said, I make sure I take care of you. Because I'm going to pick you up, <laughs> drop you home, make sure you have something to drink, and make sure you have equipment, and you get something at the end. So I'm glad you appreciate that. You, you let me know that too. Amen. So I appreciate Amen. that. Amen. Thank God for my sister, Pastor Tracy. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. the ministry. Grace singer, preacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. You come very close with my wife. Yeah. And I love that because it's not a, a friendship where it is so you're using her or just bringing gossip because she's had that. And I can appreciate when it's someone that's not bringing that. She's had someone that every time she talks to them is, is about foolishness or garbage. And I'm like, okay, now you're upset, but you would never know this nonsense if you weren't talking to this particular person. So, you know, it just shows you that you have to cut off things. And I appreciate your role in her life, and I appreciate your role in my life. Thank you. Thank you. I also forgot to mention that um, Sister Joelle and Sister Taisha, they danced yeah. yes. earlier. Yes. I appreciate that. Yeah. And the mind, Brother Kevin. 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 Excellent job. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. You're really ministered to me, and I really appreciate it. Yes. I want to thank God for my brother. Father and Lord, <laughs> Apostle Anthony Sherman. Amen. Every year, every year you preach a word that's tailor made for my life and what I'm going through. Uh -huh. You're one of my favorite preachers. And I remember even the first time, like I said, that I remember hearing you. It was at a Pastor Hazel Perry's church in Yonkers a long time ago. And I was like, wow, there's something about him. And I appreciate that you have been there for me during my low times as well as my good times. Uh, I haven't always been this mature. I was going through things before, which caused me to use the pulpit as an outlet mm. wow. to vent and talk about people. Wow. I used mm -hmm. Facebook as well, and then I decided that wow. I think at the beginning of 2010, I said no more. Wow. Amen. I said everything's going to be more positive because that's going to be growth for me. Can't Beautiful. Can't continue to live back in, in the past. Amen. So I remember even a voicemail. You, know, you left me saying, you know, I have I'm gonna hit my shoulder. So if you want someone to talk to or even cry, you know, I appreciate that. You were there for a big part of my life, even with my marriage, even getting married. You were the first person that came in our mind when we said, Well, we need someone to do it. Because at first, I, to be honest, I told my wife, I said, let's just go to City Hall. And she said, no, we deserve a wedding. I said, okay. <laughs> so then, first name. And I appreciate that because you, you did it and you didn't charge us. Other people would have said, well, I need my money. Or tell me, tell me that beforehand. That. You never charge us. And even when we went to the thing across the street, you bought waters for, for, the, for the reception. You contributed that way, and you also helped to clean up. Amen. 
He, he was at, like, I mean, he was helping Amen. like he was just one of us. Yeah. When you didn't have to do that, you could have just said, I'm out. You know, I, I, I'm an apostle. I don't need to do that. That showed me hands on. It reminds me of myself. Mm -hmm. I like to be hands on. I like to do things. I don't want somebody thinking, well, I'm too good to do something. And I yeah. appreciate you for that. Thank you very much for that word. Amen. I think I'm getting someone. <laughs> to my lovely wife. Yes! yes. Woo! Can't say it again. <laughs> right? I thank you for being in my corner. <laughs> I thank you for being in my corner for many years, uh, especially last few years. We became, we went, you know, from friends to best friends, and then we said, let's go to the next level. And we received, you know, people talking about us, but it just brought us closer. And I'm like. Ain't worried about you, so don't worry about us. Cause you just get yourself stressed out. It ain't gonna, it's not gonna change anything. It's just getting us closer. I thank God because even with me seeing my daughter, she had a big part to do with that. Because there was a time period where I didn't see my daughter for five months, and I took her picture off of my computer and everything because she was a screensaver. And I said, no, I can't. I didn't want to see her because it was making me cry every time I turned on the laptop. I know. And then I remember seeing a picture of her at church, and someone tagged me, and I said, wow, she's getting big. And then the request came for me, well, her birthday's coming up, I need um, money for her birthday. This was October. So I guess I said, okay, it's birthday money, so he'll have money. So I said, her birthday's in December. So I said, okay. Um, so it was, you know, I need money for her birthday. My next response was, when do I get to see her? But this was probably the fourth month in a row that I didn't see her. The response was, forget it. All the whole, the whole time, encouraging to say, you may not be able to go to a short route. You may have to go to legally and go to court. So the following day, I went. And then a month later, we went to court and tried to have allegations that I was abusing her son to stop me from seeing my daughter. And then it was going to be put on that I would have limited rights where in order to see her, I would have to have a social worker watch me. My God. So I said, no, I'm not a pedophile. Right. I'm her father. Right. They right. did a search on me to check me, check my record. They asked for ACS reports, because this is how you charge you say abuse right. That's right. That's right. So he said, well, I'm sorry. If he doesn't have any, any things on him, he's going to see his, see his daughter. So y'all better work it out. Right. So I thank God that from that day, November 30th, 2009, I've been seeing my daughter two days a week minimum. Oh, and I make sure I have two hours. I do that on purpose. It shows that I'm active in her life. That's right. right. At one school, it was her name, her, her name was, wasn't my name, my last name. And I'm like, wow. So then, but now that she's in public school, they go official. Straight up. Right. <laughs> straight up um, birth certificate. Exactly. So it shows, no, you're mine, you're mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm paying child support and I'm taking care of you. So. I expect uh, the full rights as a father. That's right. That's right. Not many guys can say, or many people can say that they, a, a man is to, you know, takes a woman to court to see their child, but I did. Right. And it's the best decision I made, and she was in my corner. She pushed me, because she saw me crying, and she saw me going through, and getting bitter to the point where I was becoming very angry. And she said, no. She said, you need to have her in your life, and there's ways you can get go to doing that. I appreciate and love you for that. So... In your words, if I be a prophet of God. <laughs> Last year, this time, I said 2012 was a year. And not even a year later, we're married. So, I'm not going to say it about 2013. I'm not going to say it. Now, but I know that I'm enjoying this ride with you. You're my best friend. And you make me very happy. And I love you very much. Thank you for everything.